All right, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to day four of our guest speakers, our international scout panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn it over to my dad, uh, Mr. Whitaker, to introduce our international scouts that are here. And then they're gonna introduce themselves too, talk a little bit about uh, 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 their country and scouting there. And then uh, we're gonna answer your questions. So please take it away. Well, welcome to uh, International Day at Camp in a Box. So we have two young men with us uh, that are part of the scouts in Egypt. David is actually pronounced David, correct? David Risk is actually yep. in Egypt where he still lives, involved in scouting and going to college there. And Caro, and I'll know try and pronounce his last name because I've never said it right yet. <laughs> and what it is. Uh, he's actually living in the United States right now, uh, going to Penn State University, correct, Carol? Yes, Penn State, yep. Okay, so David, why don't you jump in and introduce yourself, tell them what you're doing scouting and things like that, and then Carol can introduce himself and tell us a little bit. All right. Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm David. Uh, I'm from Scotland in Egypt. Uh, uh, I'm in the Boy Scout. Uh, I have been in the Boy Scout for like 10 years till now. Uh, I was in uh, tri uh, international staff in uh, tri camp in 2018. And uh, uh, I don't know what you want to know about the Egyptian Scout. That's it. <laughs> okay. Kira, what's your background in scouting? You need to unmute. Oh. There you go. Oh, okay. Hello, guys. My name is Kiro. I am the international scout from Egypt. Um, I attended a 2018 camp in New York. That was good experience. I've been in the scout for uh, since I was in elementary school. And uh, we had four types in uh, scout in Egypt. Uh, we have boy scout, we have the air scout, and we have girl scout, and we have the sea scout. So we have the same scout as USA, but we have different traditional. It, we're doing the same activities, we're doing the same stuff, but in a different way. Um, I have uh, lucky to select in uh, the Boy Scout of America in 2018. It was a very, very great experience. And thank to God, he was one of the leaders that I met and Danny. So I want to thank them for uh, the camp in 2018. And you guys, if you have any question about Egypt and scouting Egypt, uh, you're very welcome to ask. Oh, that's great, that's great. Any other international scouts joined in? There we go, I thought that was you. All right, here we go, hold on, let me... Uh... Make you a co-host, and you can unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, can you hear? Yes, uh, we can. Gabriel, how are you, sir? Okay. Yes, I, I tried to change my name, but I don't know how to do this. I, I'm logging with Patrick, and I don't know. <laughs> but I, I am Gabriel, I'm from Brazil. I was in Tri Mountain in 2014 not uh, 16, how you put in me. Um, nowadays, I'm a chief in uh, Wolves. Wolves is the same uh, group. Uh, it's like a Cub Scout for you. Here in Brazil, we call Wolves. Um, I, I started Boy Scout when I was 11 years old. So now I am 34, so 23 years in Boy Scout. Oh, that's great. That's great. I have a question here for for uh, for all three. Um, unless someone else come, came in, I, I think we're expecting one more international scout. I don't see. That's okay. Uh, so, um, what kind of merit badges do you have? Do you guys have any kind of merit badges in your in your programs? David, you want to go first? Yeah, unmute yourself. Sure. Okay. Um, I have a merit uh, badge in uh, first aid. We have like the same merit badges like in uh, USA, uh, but with like different names. 
uh, I also work in a program, if you heard about it, it's an international program called uh, World Scout Environment Program. Uh, it gives something like a merit badge, but uh, it's related to the work in uh, environment. And um, there's also a, a badge which is called, uh, I think, Scout of the World uh, badge. It's not also a, a merit badge, but it's like it's something like a, a merit badge. Uh, and uh, that's what I remember now, <laughs> actually. It's great. What about you? So I want to add to David. He said, like, we have the same um, badges. We have the same merit badges, like we have the swimming badges, the lifeguard badges. Um, we have the runner badges. Uh, we have the climbing badges and uh, the IT badges. Like Danny, he gave me a merit badge for um, the IT tools like in tech, computer and this stuff. So uh, we do in the same badges as USA. And um, um, I want to let uh, my friend from Brazil uh, add some new merit badges they have. He can go ahead. Oh, I can show you the merit badge. Just one minute. Here is the principal. The first one is uh, for the Cub Scout. It's a uh, Cub Scout, Boy Scout between 11 and 14 years old. It's a gold flower. This one is for uh, boys and girls between 15 and 18 years old. And the last one is uh, for a uh, rover, and we call pioneers, uh, between 18 and 21 years old. We have this one. Okay. That's great, thank you. That's awesome. I, I have a, a good question here. Um, let's see, where did it go? Oh, no, where'd it go? All right. So we have a question from Denery. Um, what was the th most surprising thing about scouting in the U United States when you came here? The most surprising thing. Who would like to go first? Um, for me, I think uh, the most surprising thing, uh, surprising thing in the uh, US, uh, UPSA is uh, I think the, the camps itself because uh, here in Egypt we don't have like uh, already established camps. To make a camp we have to like go for like a, a clear area and start camping there. But we don't have like a huge camps or uh, with uh, facilities or something like that like here in uh, the USA. So I think that's the most surprising thing for me. <laughs> what about you, Kiro? Kiro? So what, 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 what got my attention was uh, the activities, like the number of activities was amazing. Um, uh, we had our camp, Triam Mountain Camp. We had many activities, and it was every um, section was preparing very good. Uh, we have uh, like more programs. Uh, we have a different programs. It was uh, very, very arrangeable, and we really had fun in, in the camp. All right, Gabriel? Um, something I think was very strange for me, because in Brazil, we have, a, we always had boys and girls in the same patrols and troops. So when I arrived in USA, we just worked with uh, boys during the one time. Just one week, uh, I saw girls, but not uh, quite education, mixed. Now I know you have this, but when I went, it was very strange for me this. He, boys and girls do the same 
activity to death in this leap time you will separate uh, the tent. That's interesting. Back in 2014, when you worked at TriMount, that's right. Uh, and that one week, we actually had Girl Scouts uh, at TriMount that yeah. year. And uh, but now we are we have girls in all all of our scouting programs now, starting about a year and a half ago. So uh, we're we're catching up to the rest of the world. Um, so um, another question I have here is uh, in in uh, in your countries, uh, what is the highest rank? Because everyone knows Eagle Scout is the highest rank for for the Boy Scouts of America. What's the highest rank for you? Uh, it's the same in my country. The eagle rank is the highest one. Okay, eagle scout. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, also in Egypt, we have something called the uh, wood badge, uh, or like uh, the wood badge, which is uh, you take it if you became like a, a senior leader. Uh, so I think the highest rank in Egypt is uh, wood badge. I think it's name in English is a wood badge. In Brazil, it depends on the age. If you are a Cub Scout, you have a certain closing. It's a constellation that we use here to guide us. And if you are a Scout, you have a golden uh, leaves. If you are a guide or a senior, you have a homeland badge. If you are rogue, you have a insignia to body power, badge, body power, badge. Well, that's great. Uh, Dan, Dan, do you have any uh, any questions there? Nope, they're all sending them to you, John. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, let's see here. Hold on, because I got I'm sifting through these things. Oh, here's a good one. So in the United States, the uh, Cub Scouting program, we have belt loops. Uh, do you have belt loops and for the Cub Scouting program for advancement? Can you repeat because they sound good, please? Uh, belt loops. Do, do you guys have belt loops uh, for, for the Cub Scouting program, your, your younger scout program? Can you explain that more? Because I don't yes. understand. Yeah. All right, I guess the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so in, in, in do, here, we have a belt loop program. I don't, I don't think we have it. Like, I, I, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> so. Oh, that's all right. Um, what was your favorite trip in your, in your country that you took in Scouts? Your favorite trip? Uh, my favorite trip was in a place called uh, Wadi Al Haitan. Uh, it's uh, like it's a place like a desert, but uh, from like a uh, like a million years, uh, it was a sea. And uh, uh, the the term Wadi Al Haitan means uh, the place of the walls. And here and there, you can find like uh, a bones of uh, an old walls around in the in the desert, and because this desert was before a uh, sea, so uh, we got a camp there. We stayed like for four days, uh, and it was in interesting because we all uh, everything we did uh, was from like scratch. We made a camp, and we uh, and even the food we did it uh, from from nothing, from just like some fire and this stuff. And that's it. That's great. Kiro? Yep. Uh, my favorite trip uh, actually was a camp in Alexandria. Uh, it was a national camp in Egypt in, uh, in Alexandria. It was held in Alexandria. It had like uh, more than 2,000 people. In the camp, it was all leaders uh, from all over uh, Egypt, and uh, we had a uh, big camp. We had more, uh, many activities. Uh, we have outdoor uh, cooking. Uh, we we made like a big fires, and um, it was amazing trip uh, for me in Egypt. 
So I have a question here from uh, Matthew, and he wants to know what the scouting programs are called in your home countries. Oh. So uh, like here, it's the Boy Scouts of America. Um, does What's your programs called? Uh, okay. Uh, here in Egypt, we have like uh, the, the base or, or the head of everything is uh, the Egyptian Federation for Scouts and Guides. Uh, and under it, we have like four sections, uh, the Boy Scouts, the Guide Scouts, which is only for girls. And there's also uh, Sea Scout and Air Scout. Uh, every section have its own merit badges, have its own uh, identity and its own clothes. Uh, and uh, in, like, in some events, uh, they all combine and uh, make like one, uh, they all combine together and uh, do uh, the national event. Okay. Hey, hey uh, Dan, you skipped over Gabriel. Gabriel didn't get to tell us his favorite trip. Oh, I'm sorry. My favorite trip oh, in Brazil is complicated. Uh, but in my group, we love the national park in this area. You have a uh, high in mountains of the, this place, and uh, we, we can do camps and uh, hiking with uh, another group. It's a, a good place. It's a tropical forest. Uh, it's very different uh, than USA. It's a good uh, place to to have. Wow, that's great. That's great. Yeah, I, another question here from Michael. Uh, so, you know, in, in the Boy Scouts of America, we have our handbooks. Uh, do you guys have handbooks that you follow along throughout your whole scouting career? So. Actually, like, uh, from like two or three years, uh, we did a header one. Uh, we have like a, an old one, but we have uh, uh, a new one like from three years. Uh, and we also changed the, the designs and uh, some of the merit badges. We updated them all uh, from like two years, I think. And uh, that's it. Okay. How about you, Gabriel? Do you have like uh, any uh, guidebook or handbook? Yes, we have in this was a big problem uh, 10 years ago. Uh, part of the movement disagree about this change, this new book, and they uh, open a new uh, association, a traditional association, using the old book and mine using the new book. So we have this change, and it was a very problem here. Wow, okay. All right, I have another question. Um, so I don't know if you remember when you were working at Trimount, uh, an organization called the Order of the Arrow. They wore the white sashes. Do you do you have anything like that back home? No, in Brazil, we don't have. Uh, actually, we don't have. Uh, we have it the first time in Trimount. It was a good experience. It's a really good idea. Actually, we report that to our Homeland Scout organization because we wanted to make something uh, more special about that. Uh, actually, uh, uh, I'm working in the Peter World Framework in Egypt here and in the national team. Uh, we have already like the three international programs, which is uh, the Scouts of the World and the World Scout Environment Program and uh, the messenger of peace and uh, we are now working in a, a national uh, we are now working in a national program for egypt like the order of the air in usa but till now we didn't finish one that's great so hey dad uh, i think we have our our, our our fourth international scout right yes he is on but i can't make him a co-host he, he's a co-host now. You can just unmute yourself. Go ahead and unmute yourself. There you go. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we hear yeah. you. How are you, Jan? How are you, Sir? How are you guys? 
I'm very happy to meet you guys. Uh, my name is Ziad Handal. I'm uh, from Palestine. I'm uh, 29 years old. Uh, I have been like uh, 20 years uh, in Scout. So long time uh, when I'm, uh, I have been like a Scout member till now. Um, but in Palestine, thank you. In Palestine, the Scout uh, was very early here from the first of the 20th century. Uh, you know, Palestine was uh, ruling by the British mandate in that period. And we think that the British mandate uh, bring the scout movement to Palestine. So uh, Palestine start uh, to have many groups uh, established, established. So we have like more than 4,000 Boy Scout in Palestine uh, from the youth. Uh, and here in Palestine, you you know, the girls and boys, uh, the scout uh, movement uh, uh, trying to, to, to based on them uh, playing on instrument, uh, playing sports and doing like uh, good things to, the, to our community to be a good person for your community and to the humanity. So it's not it's not different uh, than anywhere in the world. The scout, the same movement everywhere. Just uh, we have difference between uh, like we we bring the instrument uh, to the scout to be like a group who playing uh, drums, uh, playing a pipe band, uh, playing um, different different things. So we we're making like a concerts. Uh, on Christmas in Bethlehem, actually, my my scout uh, invite all the scout in Palestine and uh, another uh, from outside of Palestine to be participate in this uh, big festival in Christmas. So uh, here, like ten thousand Boy Scout in Christmas uh, be in Bethlehem city from the morning till to uh, the afternoon. Uh, we just playing uh, on the instrument and trying to let the people happy. So this is what we do, helping the people. Activities, many activities we do. So, uh, and I, I camped for like two years in uh, Trimont camp. So uh, I uh, introduced to the wonderful people in uh, Trimount camp. Uh, I like spent one month and a half like in uh, Trimount camp and I was very happy in that camp. And I learned many things. And trying to, to do these things in my country. So I don't know. If if you have any question about the scout in Palestine, I'm ready to answer, guys. So feel free. Well, let me let me inter form formally introduce Iyad. So Iyad is from is from Palestine, and he is the latest. It's about 11:30 in Palestine at night right now, right, Iyad? Yeah. <laughs> and 10:30 10:30 in Egypt, and it's um, 4:28 p.m. In Brazil, or am I off by a bit there, Gabriel? <laughs> so it's a huge time in difference. So the one time thing there? I want to remind Gabriel, Gabriel had to leave us halfway through oh. something about if he didn't go back to his country, he wouldn't have graduated college that summer. So uh, the program director, Mr. Zayas, and I want to remind you, you owe us a half summer, and you can come back for the 75th anniversary next year. So, John, you have questions for uh, Iyad and the other guys? Yeah, uh, well, one question we have in the chat. Uh, so, you know, for the Boy Scouts of America, this is the Scout sign, Scout salute, uh, and, and we have we shake our hand, have a handshake with our left hand. Is, is it the same yeah. for you guys? Yeah, yeah, it's go? the same. Yeah, it's yeah. the same, I think. Yeah. I don't remember if you cross this finger here when you shake yeah. your hand. It's the same. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow, that's that's awesome. It must be a uh, across the world thing, right? That's great. Great. Um, what is your favorite scouting position in your home country? Favorite. Yeah, fa favorite scouting tradition in your in your country. Your favorite one. Um, it's a it's a reunion you did uh, around the camp tire. I don't know the name it is. I don't remember. When you opened the camp, you did with uh, camp tire. Yeah, we call the Fogo de Conselho. With where we sing and the dance around the, the fire. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, Davy, Hero? I think it's also, yeah, uh, the campfire. Uh, for me, it's a favorite. Because we, we like preparing, uh, we prepare like some sketches and songs and things like that. I think it's the most uh, fun. Uh, for me, hiking and outdoor cooking, that is what I like the most. Like, I love eating in the scout. We make a good food, so we enjoy it to eat together and singing at night and doing, uh, like, um, a whole thing. It's really amazing. Yeah, do you have a favorite scouting tradition in in, uh, in Palestine? Yeah, let me unmute you. Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, um, my favorite that I, I like in the scouting is hiking and camping. I actually go camp uh, like once in a month uh, with my friend and my uh, my friend group in the scout. So we always go to, to hike uh, and trying to uh, going to swim like this. That's great. Actually, yeah, I have another question for you. Uh, we, we already answered the, yeah. the, it for uh, with the other countries, but uh, what, what are your ranks in Palestine? You're, like we have Eagle Scout um, and you know, Life Scout and stuff like that. What, what are your ranks in Palestine? We have like the primary uh, badge, and after that we have another badge. Uh, we don't have the like the Eagle Scout. We have the wooden badge. If you, uh, it's like an eclect. It's a wooden badge. So uh, the Scout Movement badges. We have the levels of the Scout Movement. We we don't have something special in Palestine. Okay. Now, this is a question for all four. So in the United States, uh, we have um, different uh, positions uh, for uh, uh, different leadership positions in, in our troops. So like a senior patrol leader, bugler, historian, or a librarian, uh, a patrol leader. Do you have things like that too? And if so, what are they? Yes, in Brazil, we have this and the boys and girls vote to decide who you have this position in the patrol. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have like uh, a, a hobby, a hobby. So uh, each one of us have like a hobby. Uh, so uh, we give the mission of the one who uh, feels like he's an expert in this uh, and this uh, something like, uh, for example, uh, we have like, when we go to camp, we have someone who, uh, who should light the fire and bring the, all the wood. And we have the cookie, the cookie uh, who will cook the, for us. And we have uh, different tasks different task and we give it for each of one uh, of us so it's like this yeah we have like this thing we have like a geo geographic we have historian we have uh, athletics we have like this 
that that's great. Uh, Kiro? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you, we were talking about the hobbies, right? The favorite hobbies. That correct? Hey, John. Hello. Sorry, I'm having some computer issues. What, what, what was the question? I have interruption in, in, in the voice. Uh, can you be a question, please? Uh, sure. Um, uh, we uh, do you have any? Uh, what what kind of leadership positions uh, do you have in uh, Egypt? Uh, for for in the uh, uh, yeah, I was my the leader of my troop. First, I was assistant of the leader, assistant leaders, and I become the leader of the troop uh, of mine in Egypt in the church. That's great. Uh, David? Uh, yeah, I think we have, yes, in Egypt, we have like uh, different like sectors, which is like uh, like in America, uh, Cub Scout, and then uh, I think it's called in Egypt uh, the Boy Scout, and then the Advanced Boy Scout, and then the leader. Uh, and every like sector we have, uh, we have to, yeah, we have like different teams. And every team has like a leader and an assistant leader. And uh, for every like sector, we have like the first leader, which is uh, which lead the whole sector. That's it. That's great. Um, another question here is, uh, how many scouts are in your country? Uh, uh, Five hundred thousands in Egypt. All right, five hundred thousand. It's a huge number. A huge number. Yeah, that's great. Gabriel. Um, I search here. It's eleven thousand nine hundred and fifty-five. All right. Very precise. All right. Great. Ayad. Oh, let me unmute you. Hang on. Oh. There you go. Uh, I think that the, the we will be like seven thousand, like almost. That's great. That's great. All right, I have another question for all for you. Um, what is? Uh, can you describe your favorite skit that you guys do at a campfire? Favorite skit. Uh, I think in Egypt, my favorite one is uh, a one. It's about like it's, a, uh, it's like a show, a uh, talent show, but a funny one. Uh, I don't remember its name, but it's just like like uh, something good talent, and then we go like uh, a funny show about talents. Who would like to go next? Anyone else want to share? Favorite skit? Okay, I can go. All right. Um, um, my favorite skit, uh, it was in Trimount Camp. I remember I was with, uh, with Johnny, we did uh, a sketch together that we are going to uh, clean um, the teeth and the hair uh, we were like, I was his hand, so he used me like I'm the hand. So it's like to 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 tell pe the people how to to stay clean, how to clean their uh, teeth, their hair, and it was a comedy sketch. So all, all the people was joking. So it was my favorite. That's a classic one. That that yeah, that's the, that's the classic one here. I have, too. I have a video for. It. All right, great. That's great. Yeah. Gabriel? In Brazil, in Cub Scout, we use the mobile history uh, in the program. I don't know if you have this 
Mobley. The Jungle Book, do you know? So each campfire, the Cub Scouts have to show uh, a story about an uh, uh, animal, a bear, a uh, snake, and something like this. So they change the original story and do how they think about this. It's very interesting how they, the kids do this. That's great. Did I miss, I missed someone. Kiro? Yeah, uh, my favorite skit was in uh, uh, Cairo. We had the camp, it was a national camp, and we was making a comedy uh, skit. Me and my friends, we made a whole uh, play. Uh, it was in something referred to Egypt. It's like theater in Egypt. So we was making like a funny uh, skit. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, we have time for one more question. Uh, and uh, the, the question that we have, so we have a lot of young scouts here. We have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, 12 to 14 year old scouts. You know, we are, we are going through uh, the pandemic just like everyone else is. And, uh, you know, we're um, facing some tough times and, and uh, some, some struggles. But uh, is there any advice that you can give to our scouts here uh, participating in the Camp in a Box program uh, and, uh, and how to keep going and work uh, to get the highest rank of Eagle Scout? Any advice you can give? Ayad, would you like to go first? Uh, stay safe, guys. <laughs> stay safe and stay healthy. Maybe the best advice. Uh, nowadays, during the um, coronavirus, uh, I hope everybody will be fine. Uh, I am very happy to to meet you guys today. Uh, when the, all the world trying to be away and try to be like away from friends, from family, so we are connected now from different cities around the world. Uh, so. Um, this year, my scout will not have a camp, uh, a summer camp, uh, and that bad. But uh, like these meetings and these activities, we can stay connect uh, with our leaders, with our friends, uh, and hope the next year will we will have a camp like uh, every every year. And, and this disease will end. So this is my advice. Thank you. Who would like to go next? Yep. First of all, I hope you guys doing well and the quarantine. And I wish you guys keep that social distancing six feet. Don't forget. And nowadays we have time. We have a big time to study and work on uh, our camp skills, our scout skills, actually. So now you're sitting at home, you have time, uh, you can learn, you can watch videos, you can learn some skill skills. There is many skills you can find yourself about. Uh, you can try new uh, stuff at home uh, till the, uh, the camps came back, come back to work steer so you have uh, too much time to learn some new stuff and you guys all said be safe and keep the hard work thank you all right thank you gabriel let it go um it's a new time, it's very hard to think about this because the Boy Scout will have to, I was thinking, stay doing something and it's practical. But uh, how we are a movement to have to change uh, because this we are here, here and we always change uh, about the times when the things change. And so we have to think uh, how to do a new scouting. 
And uh, this time we can do in our, our homes by the computer, the internet, uh, we have to change, but we, we will survive when, the, when this finished. I think uh, we more close one one each other. I don't know. It's hard to think of this. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my advice, uh, I'm very happy to be with you all. And uh, I think uh, this opportunity came because we have a pandemic. Maybe if we didn't have one, we, we didn't meet here. So that's the only good thing here. But uh, I would like to tell you all to stay home and stay safe. Uh, try as possible to learn new stuff. You have uh, very much time. And uh, for some like some mid badges uh, don't need you to be like out there. You can just start uh, uh, learning stuff about like uh, technology, uh, IT, and uh, you can learn how to use like cameras or things like you can like learn in uh, your home. Uh, start like search and learn. Uh, you have time for this. So I think that's, uh, that's what I can say now. And hope uh, everything good better like in uh, next year and i'm very uh, i'm very happy uh because you invited me here to be with you thank you well thank you thank you all so much for being with us today um dad do you have any uh, parting words nope just keep your heads up guys and and keep moving forward and uh to my staff members from all over the world uh, we're going to be doing this next thursday again i'll be in touch with you to see if you're available and, and uh, you know, we'd love to have you with us next week. And uh, I just have one more question. So David, in two words, what are you doing now? Are you doing medical school or, or moving on to your movie career? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm now uh, in the fourth year uh, of uh, medicine. Um, I, finish, I will finish like in two and a half years. Uh, What's the next question? What? That I didn't know if you're still you're still doing all your movies and stuff though, right? You're yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm working also in uh, filmmaking, okay. uh, and uh, I did like this year uh, in the pandemic. I did the first uh, film festival uh, in the pandemic uh, in Egypt, uh, and uh, like I used my time to create this uh, festival, so. I advise you all to try to use your time and uh, create a new th uh, stuff. Cool. And Kira, what are you taking at uh, Penn State? So I study computer science uh, section cybersecurity right now. And I'm in my second year, I'm going a uh, sophomore. And uh, I got a job in Apple uh, last year in 2019, but because coronavirus in 2020, we like uh, we got in the home, yeah. and I made my own uh, my own inspection company. So we working on it. I have my friend Marco. He working with me. So we doing great. We just waiting till this pandemic end, and we're gonna go back to work. Super. I'm getting the evil eye from the top left corner. Gabriel, what are you doing now? We, we, what's that? I just asked Gabriel what he's doing now. It's me. Yep. What yeah, are you doing? Um, now I'm just studying, I'm studying master in history. So in my work, it just, we will return maybe in September. I work in history archival. So yeah. I just have to wait because these kind of the things we can't bring to our homes. This is uh, uh, very complicated. But now I'm just in study for the master. So Ian, you had 30 seconds. <laughs> so, so. Ian, I have about 30 seconds for you. Um, Again, I'm here. Yeah, I'm trying to get married. <laughs> it's not working. 
I was going, I was every, going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> every time I choose the date, the, the government locked down the city. So I'll, I didn't uh, get married yet. Okay. So just just waiting to to finish this pandemic and uh, I will get married. I, I'm working now with the Center for Cultural Heritage Preservation. I studied history and archaeology. Um, um, yeah, we're trying to preserve the culture, our culture. Um, we're trying to preserve the historical buildings. Um, this is my work. We're doing great, but. Uh, now we are not going to work uh, the city locked down so we are waiting to the situation get better and go back to work go back to the normal life oh super i know john needs to get us moving along because they have another thing starting in 10 minutes so thank you guys john thank you all so much for coming and uh, we hope to see you next week and uh, remember camp in a box folks to submit your videos to dan decker and uh, we will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.